How does my daughter pay for her own gifts? Today I'm going to share with you how my daughter buys her own gifts with her own money and how your child can do that too. If you want to raise a money smart kid who will grow up living the life of their dreams and stay out of your wallet, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from CleverDoughKids.com and I have a special gift for you. But first, let me tell you something really cool. My kids buy their own gifts. Okay, so not their own gifts, but the gifts that they give to their friends and family. They buy with their own money. Money that they earned themselves. You know, so like not my money. And it's so cool too. Not only do they not spend my money, buying gifts with their own money has raised their self-esteem exponentially. They feel so proud of themselves for not only choosing out gifts that will really mean something to their friends and family, but they are so much more aware about buying things that will last and are better quality and better for their wallets too. It wasn't something that I set up for them to do on purpose either. It actually started when my daughter Xanthi, she was about five years old, and she was invited to a friend's birthday party. And I was gonna go take her shopping you know, to get her friend a gift like I usually did back then. So I asked Sandy, what do you think Jessica would like for her birthday? And we were in the kitchen and she was helping me decorate Jessica's birthday cake. I often decorate cakes for our friends and family and Xanthi always loves helping me. So she says, oh, I know what she would really love. And off she went running down the hall to her playroom. And when she came back, she was proudly holding up a small pink beaded purse that she herself loved. Jessica said she loved my special purse. She really liked it a lot and I know she wants it. I can give her this. Oh, monkey, that's so sweet of you, but that's your special purse. Are you sure you want to give it to Jessica? It won't be yours anymore if you do. Yeah, I want to. She'll be really happy. You're sure you won't miss it? Nope, I want to give it to Jessica, please. <laughs> of course, sweetie. And that's exactly what she did. And she was right too. Jessica was so happy. It was her favorite gift. And that made Xanthi so proud. It also started a new trend. The next friend's birthday came and Xanthi remembered how great it felt when she gave her own gift, that she wanted to do it again and again. After a while, she realized that she didn't always have the thing that her friend really wanted. Sometimes she was able to make something instead. You know, a drawing, a painting, some cookies and things like that. But sometimes, in order to really give something special and personal, she realized that she needed money to buy gifts for others. And one birthday came and she wanted to buy her friend a baby doll. And we'd just gone through paying some bills and we didn't have any extra money in our budget. And it felt awful to admit to my little girl that although it was a really nice idea, we just couldn't afford it. But she piped up with, I could buy it. I have money in my piggy bank. <laughs> and I had to explain to her that didn't have quite enough money to buy the doll. But she was not going to be detoured. So we decided to go home and see how much she had. A whopping five dollars. And that's New Zealand, so it's like less than the five dollars you're probably thinking of. And we went to the local dollar store and she picked out a really cute little doll for about two dollars plus tax. Yeah, that was another lesson. <laughs> and she was again so proud and happy and her friend was so happy with her gift. And Xanthi had been learning some wonderful life lessons through all of this, as we all have, that it feels really good to get gifts for your friends. And that the best gifts are the ones that actually mean something to your friends and that your friends will actually like. And that if you don't have something of your own to give or to make, you may have to use money to buy it and that if your mommy and daddy don't have the money, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't buy stuff. You just have to use your own resources instead. And this also gave Xanthi a taste of financial independence. Do not rely on money to pay.
pay for stuff, but to be creative and to find other ways to get what you want. After she spent her money on the doll, yeah, she quickly realized that now she had a lot less money. And mommy and daddy couldn't give an allowance at that time, but she wasn't going to be deterred yet again. She asked me how she could make her own money. So we started small. My sister was having a garage sale, so we asked her if Xanthi and her little brother Quinn could use a corner of the lawn to put her lemonade stand on. And that's exactly what they did, and this was just the beginning. As you can see in the photo, they added face painting to this business as well. When I started helping parents teach their kids about money, one of the biggest questions that I always got asked was whether or not they should give their kids an allowance. And I used to always tell them, no, definitely not. And I had a lot of really good reasons too. But after a while, I started to realize that just because those reasons worked for me, they were not necessarily going to work for every family, but I still wanted to help them. So I decided to think larger than my own limited experiences. And I reached out to the best teachers that I could think of, fellow life coaches, and parents and teachers and successful entrepreneurs and so on. And I asked them if they would contribute a chapter to a new book that I was writing, Allowance Secrets to Give or Not to Give. Yeah, can you tell I love Shakespeare? <laughs> I was blown away by their generosity. Not only did they give their personal and their professional opinions on whether or not to give an allowance and some really cool alternatives too, but they gave so much more. They gave tons of really great and, and actually doable advice on how to teach our kids about money. And I was so honored. They gave me all of this for free to share with you in my book. And because they were so generous, I want to pay it forward and give it to you for free too, so that you can not only finally decide whether or not to give your kid an allowance, but also what other ways you can teach your child about money so that your child will be just as excited as Xanthi was to buy her first gift for her friend's birthday. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to keep giving it away for free though. So. If you would like to grab your own free copy, just click on the link in the description below right now to head over to the site where you can get the download. And do this now before life gets in the way again and you forget and it's gone before you remember again. Yes, I've done this before. <laughs> Enjoy. And if you found my story inspiring and Xanthi's story inspiring, then please do me a favor and help me help more parents by sharing this video with your friends and family. Hopefully our story can inspire so many more. Thank you so much for helping. And if you would like to learn more about how to teach your child about money in a fun and effective way, then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you will know as soon as the next video comes out and you won't miss anything. Enjoy your free gift. You can get it at cleverdoughkids.com backslash allowance secrets dash free gift. The link is in the description below for you. Enjoy and thank you for sharing.